hello everyone welcome back so we have another antler project and today we're going to make a candlestick and we're actually going to make a candle to go into the candlestick so i just have this piece of antler here that i cut off parallel nothing uh, special i got to clean it up a little bit i have a mark here where i put the uh line and I have another piece of aluminum, just like this. This was actually cut out of the piece. And I'm going to take you over to my bench, and I'm going to show you what I did with that. And I'll be back. All right. So I cut out a little disc out of aluminum, just using these snips. These were my dad's. I just used a compass to draw a line. Now I use whatever I got to start forming it. And first I'm going to use this lead ladle I have. I'll place this on here and I'll start forming this. So let me get that set up and I'll bring you back. Alright, so I'm just holding this onto the vise ball peen hammer. Alright, so you get the idea, I'll continue on, and I'll bring you back. Alright, so we got it at this stage, looking good. I have an assortment of hammers, I have a block here with an inch and three-eighths hole. So we're going to continue to form it down until we got it where we want it. All right, I'll continue on with that, and I'll bring you back when we get a little closer. All right, so here we have it so far. I flattened the bottom by just using my lead hammer and going down like that. Now I have a pair of duckbill pliers, and I'm going to open this up a little bit, up on top. Just start pulling some of these... I don't know if we want to call them petals or what, but... Alright, I'll continue on with that and I shall bring you back. Alright, so I got it over at the belt sander and I'm just going to kind of sand the edges till I got it to the shape I want. coming out nice. I'll do a little bit more of that and I'll bring you back. All right, so I got that all finished. I'm really digging it. When I do these, you can make these perfectly um, smooth, but I, I wanted that organic look, sort of kind of like a flower. Um, so now this is going to get attached to here on the top. And to do that, I'm just going to use these little nails about a half an inch long and I'm going to put them in here as you can see there's there's five holes hopefully that shows up um, I'm probably only going to use the four outer ones but it's just like when a ferrier puts on a uh, a shoe on a horse the nails will go right in here so I will put these on like so onto the top of that very simple, just with a little hammer, and I'll bring you back. Oh, and then I'll clean this up with a wire brush. 
just to get any little fuzzies that are sort of on there from when I sanded it. Kind of gives it a little sheen too. And I'll do that over this whole piece. All right, as soon as I get that nailed on, I'll bring it All back. Right. So that's nailed in. And it's, it's on there, I'll tell you. Again, like a horseshoe. So I ran the wire brush on it. Now don't use an electric wire brush because it does something funky to uh, aluminum. Just that one by hand. And it's a very organic shape. Okay, and now a base is going to go on here like this. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a hole right here in the middle and just put a little nail on it. I kind of like to do that so I can push the candle on it. Um, so I'm just like where that hole is, maybe a little bit to the left of it. I'm just going to drill a little hole and just put a little nail in there. And I'll bring you back and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so there's the nail. Just a little bit left to that. That was originally my center point, um, but when I formed it, I guess I really didn't pay too much attention to that. It's where I used the um, compass to make the circle, but uh, that's not a problem. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to uh, figure out what kind of base we want. So I'm liking it so far. We got to clean it up, like I said, and uh, we'll probably we'll probably put a clear finish on it. I think that'll look good. But um, let's get a base going. All right, so I have this scrap piece of wood. It's got a hole in it, another hole there, but it doesn't really matter because we'll uh, we're gonna paint this, so we'll fill in any holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my compass again and draw a circle. I think I want a round base. And um, I'm going to cut that out on my uh, little scroll saw. So I will draw my circle. I'll bring you over to the scroll saw, and I'll show you how we do that. Boy, show sea seashells by the seashore. <laughs> Man, my tongue got a little twisted up. All right, I shall be back. All right, little scroll saw action coming up. All right, so I'll finish cutting that out, and I stay on the outside of the line. I'll bring you back when I'm done with that. All right, so I got my disc cut out. Unfortunately, the V-belt for my belt sander broke. So I had to order a new one. Um, it only cost three bucks, but it's going to take uh, about a week to get here. So whoop, we'll have to wait to finish this unless I come up with another way, because I was going to use my jig um to make a perfect circle i may i may try to figure out a different way i don't know if i want to wait a week to finish this but uh having the belt sand is so much easier all right well we'll put that on the side so next we're going to make a candle and this is just a piece of uh pvc pipe okay so i like it i like the height and what I do is I made this plug here, okay? And the plug used to fit on the bottom tightly to seal it. But if you look, whoop, it shrunk. So um, I'm going to have to swell it back up again. I'm going to try soaking it in water. So basically, um, that's how it will work. It'll give me a nice little candle. And then I have here some of my homemade wicks, tons of it. I will show, I will put links in the description on uh, how I made this, the wicks, and the candles. But uh, in the interim, I am going to try to swell this wood up. And I'll bring you back over and we'll uh, pour ourselves a candle. All right, while the wax is melting, I just take some alcohol, just a little bit of it. This stuff's precious these days. <laughs> Just a little bit on a piece of cloth, get my marker off. All 
All right. Now I'm going to take some of this clear acrylic sealer. And I'm going to spray the whole outside. I'm not going to spray inside the cup. Just on the outside. All right. And then uh, I'll let that dry. And I'll bring you back. Hopefully the milk. Uh, milk. Hopefully the wax melted. Boy, tongue twisters today. All right. I'll be back. All right. It's swelled up quite a bit, but I did have to put one little tiny piece of tape there to plug that up, okay? Not much. So next thing you need is just some cooking spray. Spray a little bit on a piece of paper towel. And run this all along the inside of your mold. I'm going to make sure all the surfaces are covered. And a little bit on the bottom of the plug. Now I just want that. I made a line just like that. Okay. Now I have these two stir sticks, popsicle sticks, taped on one end. Makes sort of like a tweezer. Now we have our homemade wick. We got our wax there. It's almost all melted, but it's melted enough to pre-wax the wick. So soak it in there. And I like to let it dry and then soak it again. So I have two layers on it. I'll do that and then I'll straighten it out like that and let it dry. So I'll bring you back when that's dry. So the wick is dry. I don't need this giant length here. So we'll just uh, trim it off. Now if you notice, way down there at the bottom is a little hole. That's going to be the guide for the bottom. Now we take our little Pop sticks, feed this in there. Like that. Okay, now we're going to get that at the right height. To where it fits in that bottom hole and rests on the top here. A little bit more. You want it so it goes in nice and straight. It's a little fiddly, but uh, and just center it on the top. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to that. Okay, so now I just have a little cup. I'm going to get our wax out. And pour it in. Looking good. All right, we'll let that set up. And then I'll show you how to pop it out. All right. See how it's set up? Now I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for uh, about maybe 15, 20 minutes. All right. Candle's ready to take out of the mold. We have our satin finish on here. It's looking really nice. So now what I do for this is I'm just going to push it from the bottom. Take this off. And there it is. And we got a little little shrinkage here, but that's okay. 
Now, what I do is I take a razor blade just clean it up a little bit. Or you could fill it in with wax or you could do nothing. Okay, enough playing with the candle. So now this, I'm going to trim. This blade isn't sharp enough, I don't think. No, it's not sharp enough. So I'll trim this off the bottom. And I'll trim this right about there. And then this is going to go right onto our nail. And that'll look like that. All right. Now, I have to decide if I'm going to use an alternate method besides my um, belt sander to finish the base. So I'll bring you back when I uh, get that in uh, perspective. All right. All right. Well, it was a split second for you, but like a week and a half for me. I ordered the belt from Harbor Freight, but it still hasn't even gotten here yet. I, I don't know why it's taking so long, but it was only like three bucks, including the shipping at 327 or something. But uh, they seem to be shipping it um, by uh, Wells Fargo and Pony Express, and um, I haven't gotten it yet. So I was searching online looking for a replacement belt. And I could not find what belt it was. I figured out what the dimensions should be. But I'll tell you, it was kind of a bear to find it. And then I found a guy on YouTube showing how to replace it. And then he said, by the way, if you're looking for the belt, and he kind of kind of went like this. It really didn't show the whole thing. But he said it was a Gates 1210. And I looked it up. And lo and behold, that is the belt. It's a 3.8 by 21, 9.5, 10 millimeter by 535 millimeter. Um, industry number 6721. And this belt fits perfectly. It runs so smooth. So in case anyone's looking for the uh, Harbor Freight uh, 4x36 belt sander V drive belt, this is the puppy. So that's a customer service announcement. All right, let's get to it. So, we got the jig on, we got our disc on, and we're going to start sanding away. Remember, if you have a vacuum, attach it. If you have a dust mask, use it. If you don't, use a bandana, whatever you got to use. Let's get at it. There you have it. As close to a perfect circle as you can get. All right, so now I'm just going to round this off. Um, I'll probably just use my router. Not very exciting. Then I'm going to uh, sand it. And when I get it finished sanding, before I put the coat of black paint, which I decided to paint black, um, I'll bring you back and give you a close-up. All right. So, three Goo Goo Doll songs later. It's all sanded up. Nice and smooth. Now I chose to keep it relatively simple, just rounding it over. And I'm going to paint it black, like I mentioned, because I, I want that contrast. Um, but you can do anything you want. You can make this square. You could stain it, you know, paint it red, purple, green, whatever you want. It's yours if you make one. So um, I'm going with the black. I won't bore you watching uh, paint dry. So I'll put a couple coats of black paint on this, and then we'll uh, finish it up, and we'll light it up, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So I shall be back when the paint dries. All right, so the paint's all dry. I'm digging it. It's going to look like this. So now I have to drill a hole here, right in the center. So I won't bore you, but I'll drill that hole, and then I'll bring it back, and we will screw this together. Then we'll have one more step. 
attaching this little piece of felt on the bottom and then we're going to light her up. So I shall return. Alright, so I got the hole drilled. I did a test fit. You can see there's a little mark there. So just using a regular sheetrock screw. There's the hole. Try to get it in the same spot. There you have it. I love it. Very organic. One of a kind. Even if I tried to make a match for it, I wouldn't be able to. All right, last step is to put a little spray adhesive on this and stick that on there. So I'm going to do that um, off camera. I'm just using 3M uh, spray adhesive. And then I'll bring you back and we will uh, move the camera into position where we can see this uh, candle lit up. I shall be back. All right, so I got the felt on there. Looks nice. I have my candle here. I have a spare candle, and like I said, the candle just gets pushed onto that little nail that's sticking out. Try to get it as centered as you can. There you go. Let me reposition the camera, and we'll light this puppy up. All right, so I lit it and didn't have record on. <laughs> but uh, there it is. I love the shape. It's so organic, so twisty, sort of like a flower, or maybe a mushroom. But that's sort of what I would consider the front. <laughs> but the front could be whatever you want it to be. The homemade wicks and candles, they work really great. I mean, look at the size of the flame. And that candle will last a long time. And there you go. Well, everyone, I really, really appreciate you watching this. Um, I know it's uh, these antler projects are a little bit long. Um, I have one or two more, and I'll pretty much wrap them up and move on to something else. So, uh, I, again, I really appreciate all your views and all your comments and everything that you do for me. Um, I, I, I really do. It warms my heart. I hope you all are staying safe out there and healthy. Um, I hope you all are having a great, great day. And thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.